Hi guys, welcome back. It's Candace. Okay, I I know. I wanted to work a little bit some more in my journal. Um just getting a little fat, but there's a couple things I wanted to do. Oh, let me start my thing. Good grief. Okay. Um but I do have a little disclosure to make. Remember I told you that I was using the um where'd it go? These the tulip <clears throat> dimensional fabric paint well I have found that even after the, they dry you saw how that stuck to me they have a little tackiness so they were kind of sticking well anyway they weren't really sticking hard but you can hear the the little stick so I was like well let's take your old top coat nail polish and I just took and put a little drop on top of each I mean I went through and did every one in there and just put a little drop on the top it only takes a second well not a second a, a minute or so <laughs> for it to dry but once it dries the tackiness is gone and they don't stick to your paper so in case any of you guys have had that problem with any of your other stuff or if you've been using the little tulip fabric um, drops dimensional things or any other kind and you have that little tacky in there and you find that they're sticking to your um, papers or each other just get you some clear um, top coat nail polish and once it dries I think it's dry yep once it dry oh no that's not dry yet doggone it that was a thick drop but once it dries set aside you know, give it a minute or two um, and it won't be tacky sticky or anything like that um, now I got a fingerprint on a fingerprint but just adds to the gore now these crazy little skull moths that um, was in a kit um, I guess I can flip through just so you can kind of see all the ones that I've ended up using in here <clears throat> I took some iridescent pen and colored on its skull and then I took um, glossy accents and went down the the skull body and put it on there just so it'd be a little more creepier and then uh, on here, let me see if it's showing. Can you see Oh, where the, the light hits it? Let's see if I can get it. I got I outlined the um, tombstones with gold gel pen and then around the boo with iridescent. And then I put glossy accents. Let's see if I can. There you can see that better. And then I did glossy accents on the little inside the, the boo and then put them on the other little lights that are out there too and uh that's for a page but we gotta wait a minute because now i put that cotton picking stuff on there and i gotta wait for it to dry let me grab these papers real, real quick so you can kind of see the hodgepodge of of digitals that that i've used in here on top of Janie b journals you know because it is her main kit but i used <clears throat> this one which is the digital digital hobby helper let me make sure I'm in frame uh, nope okay um digital hobby helper it's called um Halloween tags and I only used a couple from there but I printed them on 110 pound cardstock well, I guess I can take them off so you see and um they're really cute so that's going to be this is the one that I used so some of these I'm going to decorate and they're going to be in my little spook me giveaways. Yeah, I said plural. And then this one here, um, this is um, Digital Hobby Helper also, and it's Halloween labels. And it's just all little Halloween labels, which, you know, none of these were creepy enough to go into my, my thing. So well, I did use a couple of them but not many because they just weren't spooky enough. They're, they're, they're cute spook. So I didn't use many of them in, in this thing. I thought I had a paper clip. Well, let me get another one. Okay. This one, oh my God, this I absolutely love. Love, love, love. It's Calico Collage. Um, it's just called um, Halloween Stamps how um, stamps you only get one page 
for two dollars and 89 cents that was a sale price but i'm telling you i will use these forever and ever and ever this i printed on borderless so i kind of didn't get all of this stamp and i've already chopped up my other page because I, I use them all well not all but pretty much near and then this is what i did two per page so i can get like little ones which are regular size postage stamps pretty much they're all littered throughout there so if you're looking for some really cute halloween stamps yeah i have to tell you i think the original price is 385 it was 25 percent off but i have to admit i would say this was worth the three dollars just because i will use this all the time now this is another creepy one um, from um, by J. Lee Lu, um, and it's um, Halloween papers. And so that's where I got the little moth heads from, and a bunch of other things you'll see in here. And then I just, you know, did them either two per page, uh, four per page, or you know, sh shrunk them down. But I really like this, and I will use these forever. You know, in my next next Halloween, y'all probably be sick seeing them, but they're just basics. They're awesome Halloween basics. And then this one, hello, is her striped papers. <clears throat> you get 10 pages. Some of them go this way. Some of them go the other way. But they are absolutely beautiful when printed. Oh, I was seeing if I had any pieces left over here. Oh, here's one. I, I got a couple because I've chopped them all up. But, I mean, these are just awesome. You know, background if you're going to do collage or, or just to decorate, but they're great for journaling because it's not too dark. And then this one. And then, th I mean, there's a bunch. I don't, these are all that I have left because I've chopped all the other ones up because I really liked them. They're, I'm putting a bunch of these in my autumn um, journals because they're just really pretty. So that's a great basic. And then this is another one of hers by J. Lee Lou. Um, it's just called, oh, what's it called? Fearful Papers. And um, I made a little notebook out of some of these. I, I shrunk them down and made a little notebook out of a couple of them. I didn't print all these just because I only printed the ones that I was going to use. This one is an awesome, if you're into gothic, gray type papers. I used a few of these in, in the journal. But these are great papers for if you're, you know, like the, the grays and the blacky, charcoal -y stuff. They're great base papers. Um, and that's also by um, J. Lee Lu. That's, uh, you know, capital J, capital L, E, E, little L, and then O, O. <clears throat> and then this one here, um, this is a big kit. But I only used a few pieces in here. You'll see I've used like this one. I've used just a few pieces. But um, it's from the Creatives Classroom. No E. And Creatives is plural. And then Classroom. But this has some great, you know, basic stuff. And like I said, some of these I will use throughout the year. Just because they're not all Halloween-ish. And then Taylor made journals. Y'all have all, well, the majority of you have seen and heard about Taylor made journals. She has great kits. Um, I had to have this, this thing because <laughs> there was, I needed like journal card type sizes so I could do some quick and easy type journaling cards. And this is the kit that I got. Um, it's just the Halloween ephemera kit and it was uh, $3 and 30 cents, but well worth and there's a lot of stuff in there that you can use. And like I said, it's something that you can use all the time. Now this one, I just stumbled upon them. She has some creepy, freaky stuff, but I love it. And it's called Slightly Inspired. Um, I've, I've used a lot of this in here, and you will see. I mean, if you're looking for creepy and spooky stuff... I almost said the other word, but stuff, man, she's got, she's got it. This is, this is a cool one to go look at. Okay, so now that I've ran my mouth 
we're gonna I'm gonna do a little flip through I think I only have like five or six projects left which I mean I don't know I mean I think I've surpassed not quite I'm almost to the faded roses fatness definitely the grungy blue but oh gosh my little eek I put um had to put eek on there and then put um glossy accents on there I still when I'm done I'm gonna put some other stuff on here but you know not yet so we're just gonna do this real quick so you can see I, I mean it's just you know for some of you who don't like spooky you might you you might just want to go ahead and turn it off now because it's a uh, she done got dark. All right, so here's one of the slightly inspired things. I turned sewed around it and turned it into a pocket, and then um, this is one of the the hands. You know, talk to the hand, um, but that's not what it is. You know, like a death hand print. But anyway, I still thought it was funny. And then these are from Taylor Made Journals, and I just backed them on um, one ten cardstock. All of them have uh, are uh, have writing on the back. This I still I think I'm going to put some shimmer on him and glossy accent in his eyeball. I don't know yet. I just I don't know on this one. That's why he's still just hanging around. <clears throat> then oh shoot I didn't put because I've been trying to put the little shimmer in all the moons. So let me put a paper clip on here because he still has something that needs to be done. This is the tag that we had made. Um, before one of the the double tuck tags, but I just went and put a little um, Baker's Twine bow on there. Oh, and then on here, okay, yeah, I got a little creepy on this one. These are some of the um, tulip um, shimmer. Well, heck, oh, tulip glitter. Now these don't seem these once they dry they don't have the tacky to them it just seems to be all the other ones but the glitter one doesn't and it really makes a pretty shimmer but then I went here and put sequins inside here and they kind of look like eyeballs <laughs> that just you know had to let you know but they really do look like eyeballs <laughs> all right and then this is one of the postage stamps that I just backed on um, black paper and then this is one from Taylor Made Journals, just a little um, thing about Halloween. I just backed it on some paper so you can um, write on it and just made a little tag in that flip spot. You know, believe it or not, there are a few pages in here that you can um, actually journal on. <laughs> and I think this is not, this is actually, I don't know if this is slightly inspired, but this is another kit that it only came with four things, four images. And I don't see my printout on that. So I'm thinking I might have left that on my desk, which, well, if you're really interested, let me know, and I'll try to find it so I can put a thing. But I went, I know it doesn't show much, but I kind of went on the, um, around this mirror with the, with the clear nail polish just to kind of give a little something. And then this is where I found that my tulip was sticking because every time I would open this, it was kind of stuck and you hear the thing. So then I, I was like, oh, you know, I can't throw this away. Um, but I didn't want to, you know, send it to anybody if this going to stick. So I got that little nail polish. I said, well, let me see if that nail polish will, will take care of that. Well, it sure did. So, yep, that's how I figured that one out. And then I didn't punch the little thumb hole in the middle because I didn't want to take away from this crazy little spooky mirror. So I just punched it on the side. I mean, you know, hello. And I put a little fabric flip, well, a little snippet, I guess you call it, here. And then this is that pocket, and I went and put this crazy little hoot owl with some antlers on there. I just thought he went good there. And then this is um, just a journal card. This is some of the, the gray. Oh, no, I lied. This is from that one kit. Oh, shoot, see? I can't be telling you all the ones. <laughs> There's, I used too many. One should not use this many kits when doing a, a journal because it just gets too confusing. Oh, okay, I'm bad. So this is from here. This, oh no, it's not. Oh my God, this is from the Gothic one. I was right in the first place. Oh. So this is from the Gothic thing, the back. One of these is from the back of here. 
but this front is from, I don't know, oh, the front is from that other chick, <laughs> Jay Lee, <laughs> I'm sorry, um, Jay Lee Lou, one of her little haunted things, oh gosh, I know that was, that was bad, see, <laughs> sometimes I can't catch myself before it comes out, and then this is just, um, I'm not sure. I had shared way back when, in the beginning when we started this, this is one of the cards, and it's I just double printed it to make an ATC card out of it, and that's just a little card that goes in here. And then I just left this page blank. I know, I know, I actually did. And it's just because I like the layer upon layer look, and I didn't want to mess it up, and it was just, it's just too pretty. So um, that's why I, I didn't mess with it. So feel free to do whatever you want to it when you get it whoever you know decides that they need this and then this is this crazy woman our little flip up tag um, I put some lace up top and then you know her eyeballs and I went and put some red let me see oh, some red lipstick on her and then put glossy accents on it so she's just a, you know a street girl <laughs> and then I put some little black sparkle dots on her and then that's the the tags and stuff that we did um, that we made together and then I put a little piece of the purple um, spider web on there just because it needed a little something in there and then I just this is another one of the little ATC cards um, and then this is um, one of the kits I just showed and I just you know put this is one of the um, postage stamps that I just put on there and then put a little black and white washi and just put eat because you know that's like the haunted house type thing but I, that definitely is the um, gothic Halloween papers even though it's called Halloween um, you know that's some awesome stuff but um, don't use this if you're going to use it for a label for the post office because see those blue lines messes with their their automated um, scanning thing when you're writing an address down that was the last thing they told me so we shall see they were so full of poop for everything they had to say okay I'm not going down that road I'm still a little hostile <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> oh, but I did go back on... Um, these are Nouveau Drops. I didn't have to put anything on there. I guess there's something to do with fabric paint and actual paper dimensional that I guess the fabric ones must have something so it can be flexible maybe and that's what causes it to be sticky. I don't know. But just get out that top coat and you're fine. So this is just a bunch of stuff that... Okay. So... This is that baker's doily thing that we had that I put in the middle. And then I glued it down halfway so I could have a tuck spot. And then I just put one of these little ATC cards that I decorated. And that's in my, my top thing. This was the cutout from that window pocket that we did. I put one of those cute little um, postage stamps on here. I'm, I'm telling you, I love those little things. And then this is from... Oh... Yeah, slightly inspired, I think. Yes, I think it's hers. I mean, she just got some wicked stuff. And I just folded it. It's on 32-pound paper just for a little journaling thing and just put her put them in there. And then these were from Taylor Made Journals. I just backed them. And then I made a little belly band with the um, branding strip from the paper and just made it into a little belly band. And then this is from... Um, the slightly inspired and it's not a pocket it's just a writing space so I had plenty of pockets which I didn't need no more oh yeah I know I got I just I went I got out of hand on here I can't stop myself I know it's bad I try to tell myself no 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 and it doesn't work oh <sighs> anyway so <laughs> this is the first one that we did that I had you know made as a prototype type thing um, but I do these all the time. So if in well, if anybody bought any of my um, Etsy stuff last year, you, you've got some of these things. So, but this is our little double tag with the little hidden tuck spot, and it's backed on some paper. And I just put a little vampire because that's a vampire bat. But can you see on the um, the moon? I have shimmer pen on the moon, which I have to go back and put on the other one. And then this is you know blank, so you could actually write on here. You can add something else if you want to. Uh, you can actually write on here. I mean, you can write on the backs of all these things, but most of the paper, papers are spoken for. Okay, now this that's here 
is an homage to my Friday the 13th ordeal. So, this says keep calm seriously in this house. And I put bats. I put a bat <laughs> label here. I got a bat stamp in a spooky house out in the, in the woods. And then this crazy black cat. Um, he's bewitched, you know, with the grave. And I had to put nail polish on here, too, because these were sticking. And then and then I put, like, sequins on here. And then that's some of the, the um, black glitter pen. And I just took and backed this um, label on some card stock and made just a little, a little tuck card pocket out of it. But... And then I had some just plain black washi tape, so I had to make a cross on there. Hey, I didn't put it upside down. I put it the right way. So, there you go. And then, crazy bat. And then here I had this little fabric snippet I made. And then put some washi tapes on here. Um, let's see, can you see the, yeah, the glitter on the moon? I put um, shimmer pen on there. And then I put more washi and then some sequins and little rhinestones on her. And this is like Stevie Nicks' great-great-great-grandma. I love Stevie Nicks, so I'm not making fun of her. But when I saw that picture, I'm like, hey, it's Stevie Nicks out there. Because she always had those little capes when she performed and stuff. Anyway. Um, <laughs> and then this is just some, you know, little scrap. Some little parts and pieces from TaylorMade Journals. Um, this card is from TaylorMade Journals. This bird I don't know. It's from one of these mass, uh, these numerous kits that we had. And then this is like a corner from one of those little picture frames. I just put on there. And he kind of looks like the alien monster eating stuff. I know I got really creepy in here. And I sewed a little button on there with orange and black thread. And then this, I just um, decorated it with some, some of the postage stamp. One of the skull labels from the one of the kits. And then I put some... Um, five kind of autumn -y, orangey um whatever those are sequins i did not decorate this tag other than you know making my own little reinforcer here out of some of the spooky words and then just the back because i liked i just wanted the skulls to show through here so you know if, if when you get it if you feel the need to embellish more go for it Oh, I'm thinking that was a page, but it's not. It's a card. So this, I know, I should have did it this way, but I'm, I did it that way. And I like it, but it's not, you know, <laughs> the right way for me. I would be so happy if it was that way. But I just want to do something with this. And I did it crazy. So here's crazy. So that, that was my crazy, and it, and it kind of still bothers me, but, you know, anyway. <laughs> i got to have stuff the right way. Oh, I, I swear, I, I must have OCD and have never been diagnosed. And then this is um, from um, TaylorMade Journals, and I just went and put some glossy accents on the bat and then put some um, of the tulip glitter iridescent clear on on there just to have some extra stuff put shimmer in the moon and man she's an old old witch i mean you know you know they're not that cute but who she's rough but she's been around for a long time so <laughs> that goes there and then this is one of the little frames from um, one of the kits and i just backed it on book page and then just kind of sewed around just to give it a little something <coughs> and put it on here as a, a label tag I mean pocket put three different colors of sequins and then some of the um, black nouveau drops and I left the little strings on here from the sewing because I just thought it was spooky creepy like spiderweb and then this is the one little tag that I used out there with this sweet little kitty cat and I put iridescent some um, glossy accents on its bow a little sequin in the middle and then I took some of um, the little black um, glitter pen and put on some of the spiders. And then um, my gold gel pen around the pumpkin just to, you know, have it do. And I just thought that little kitty was cute. And his little eyes are like, what? <laughs> you mean I got to get the shingle shot? What? Okay, that was wrong. Anyway, um, 
and then I took my shimmer pen and I shimmered this moon up. I don't know if it's coming through on the camera, but because I'm sitting down, I'm lazy. I'm like, there, there you go. But the whole thing, I mean, it's just, yeah. And I shimmered his shirt and I put some black, you know, like gave him a cuff link and tried to give him some bow tie um, and then put some glossy accents on these little flowers on the, um, the little lace. And I, th this is actually blank. And then this, I did not decorate this because I thought you might want to have some place to actually write. So this is one of the um, J. Lee Lou's creepy things that I showed you. And um, I just love her stuff. I mean, she's got some great stuff. And then this is her um, brown stripe paper that I did on the back of that. And it's printed on 110 pound. And then this, this is from the slightly inspired one of her little creepy bat castles and then this is where um, these actually go in now that my stuff has dry no more tacky see it's just paper smack no 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 uh, catching so and that just goes in there and then this is one of the journal cards oh my gosh and I turned this into a pocket. It's on um, 110 pound paper. And then I just put like, you know, the boogeyman up there. I know you can read. Um, this is something we're going to do here still. And then this is from um, Taylor Made Journal. Oh, darn. See, you heard that, that stick, that tack? That's because I did not put fingernail polish on here. So I have to put fingernail polish. Where did I put my nail? Oh, here it is. I got to do that to here so it won't stick, but it's just backed and I zigzagged around there. But let me put this over here so I know I, I must do that. Then we're, this is a little project we're going to do, and I have the other project over here. Um, oh, Lord, I'm wasting time. And then this is just a little, um, I think this one's from Taylor Med Journal. Um, not sure. Just back it on a little piece of um, cardstock, and then this is one of the um, <laughs> creepy ones. And I just thought all these colors, you know, went well. And then turned one of the little pieces of papers that, you know, that was on in the kit. The slightly inspired, I got a witch flying on her broom over town um, for a pocket. Oh, this is a project still that I have to do. And then this is um, where I told you I had took her, the little pages and turned it into a book. So I just I printed them double-sided. And you know, inked all around them, sewed down the um, the middle with the with my sewing machine, and then um, put some little autumn orange um, color, a little label, and then put some glossy accents on the spider, and just made that a little journal notebook. This I just left blank. I know. I talked to myself into it, and then here I put um, three sequins on the spider webs, and then this lady, I dolled her up. I put three different sizes of the um, clear rhinestones so she has dangle earrings. Um, put some purple spider web, some glossy accents, some more of the autumn color, some black sequin dots. I traced around her hat parts with um, my iridescent pen and then put some glossy accents on there just so, you know, she she stands out when you see her. Oh, and then on all of her, them, I took my black marker and gave her some eyeliner like, you know, cat eyes, meow. and um, and then this is one of the postage stamps. I'm telling you, those stamps are so stinking cute. And then this is um, from J. Lee Lou. When you order from her, she, there's a link in her thank you thing with some freebies that she has. She's got some awesome freebies. This is one of them. I printed it four by six. I put um, some, what is that, grocery sack on there, <clears throat> a postage stamp, and then... Hinged it with some, um, well, it's hinged here, but then I wanted some weird, more weirdness in here. This is some parchment paper, so I glued it on there. Put some lace on, on here just so it had, you know, you could see it on the front. So it did that little flip out. Then this is, I don't know. Oh, I think, I don't know. It's from somewhere. Like I said, too many kits, and I can't remember. I just... Left it plain, put some of the glitter, tulip glitter on there, and just had printed it on one town, one 10 pound cardstock. And then this is from one of the little TN notebooks that we did, but I wanted it to be in here. 
And so I just put three um, iridescent sequins. I put a sequin on the spider body, and then I drew on the pumpkins with iridescent pins and um, gold dots on these pumpkins just to kind of give it some life. Then here's my skeleton chick. So this came from the Dollar Tree. It, it, it's a, a garland. And I was when I saw it, I was like, I'm going to put that in one of my... Uh, my things. Let me let me get it for you real quick. I'll show you. They're um almost this much here. They're just white and black felt little um, skeletons. But I knew I had to have it because <clears throat> I wanted to use it in this journal. So I put a little spooky. These are um, something from J. Lee Lou's freebies. Also these labels. Put one of the stamps on there. One of the silver um, spider webs, and then I made her a hat with some snippets and then sewed a button on there so she had a hat. Now I am going to take a bowl pin and hang it from here with something on there. I haven't done that yet. That's why her hand is hanging out so you can have the bowl pin can um dangle when you know when I get there. And then this is um from one of the other kits the, the same one where that scarecrow with these flowers came from. And I just put some little washi tapes and just some extra here's and there's and some sparkle pins and everything and then these are um this is that one lady and I, oh, I forgot where i got it already um and i just put some black and white um rose washi on there the little witch flying on her cane and left it white on the back and that just made that a quick little journal card and then this is one from taylor made journals and then i don't know i think this is from the black gothic thing um, just made some quick and easy journal cards because, you know, I got crazy and out of hand on this one. Too much in here. Um, I I did shimmer around here. I mean, you can see it, but it not is not as much because I went and painted it with the um, the whole thing with the nail polish, thinking it might would seal the um, shimmer pen. It kind of feels like leather almost, but, and then I wanted the bat to not be just plain, but you... You do see the shimmer in person, but not really on here. And then this is one of the um, crazy bats from the slightly inspired crazy journal. And I just um, glued it on um, coffee dye paper and, you know, made sure I left, you know, almost an inch so I can fold it over to make a flip with it. So got a little flip on there. I know, left this one plain. I wanted to put something in here, but... I couldn't find nothing I like, so I just left it blank. An actual, oh, I still have to do this. This is one of the other projects that we have to do. And then on here, um, I took fingernail polish, and I polished um, around him, and I polished on here. You really can't tell much unless you've seen it in person. But And then every other spider, I took glossy accents, and so it looked textured, and then these look black, and then these are gray, and then I... I put a little glossy accent on, on, on the pumpkin's heart mole. <laughs> and then here I did go around the moon with the shimmer pen and around the skull. And, um, and then I put in its eyeballs the fingernail polish um, and on the spider and then put some black glitter dots. And then this is that lady that we, we did together. And I did go back and put the, the fifth dot on there because, you know, I couldn't handle it four. I had to have five. And then here's just a little, um, I, it's, I guess still a fabric flip, even though it's netting. So it's a netting flip. And, um, with just one of the little riding spiders and then some, um, this is from the, um, uh, all things fall from the junk journal studio. But I just thought it had October on there. So, you know, I had to put it in here. And then this is the other side of the, that flower doily thing. And so, um, this is another one of the frames that I had cut out and then zigzagged around it and, um, just glued it on three sides to make it a pocket. And on here, I took the iridescent pen and went on all the windows and then put glossy accent on all the windows and then some of the black glitter pen. And then the same thing, I glued this paper dolly thing and it's more, it's, it's glossy, I guess. And I glued it down so the bottom is actually glued down, but the top is open so it's a tuck spot there. Just like the other one, mirror image on that. 
and then whoops get back here oh I still need a doggone see every time I need a journal card because this is a double thing I need a journal card back there all right so this is just a little pocket that you know that I had put in there originally and um, I have this in here but I need one more one more kind of tallish tag to go back there so I'm eventually going to get done. This is still, I know, it's still I have to do that. That's one of my other last big projects. And then this is that the um, that big masquerade postage stamp. I turned it, you know, put it on black paper and made a little pocket out of it and then just made that into a little journal card. And then just, um, and I left this one plain because that's that, you know, pattern on pattern that I just liked. And then some of the crazy, gauzy spider junk. And then over here, um, I just took this and made it a little card. I mean, it's on 110. And then this girl, this is a Tim Holtz card. She just said to me, I could be a witch. So I made her a witch. I put this little uh, piece of ephemera from TaylorMade Journals on there. Took a little piece of the spider web, bunched it up and sewed it together. Put a little orange rhinestone on there. And then put three... Um, red glitter dots on there and so she's going to her witch's ball and she might could actually even be Alexander dressed up because look at her eyes that might be her alter personality I don't know what y'all think <laughs> then this is the back this is a double print because it only comes with like one but I ran it through twice and put both images on here because I just thought it was creepy. Let's just go creepy. So I went creepy. And then I put some um, glossy accents in these dots, these water bubbles on here. Put some sparkle in the mummy's eyes. And then this is um, this is something I... It, my little thing says Halloween freebies. I don't even know where. I have like four things. And um, I, I, don't, I don't know who it's from because that's the only... That's how we, we labeled it. So... Oh, I... So if, if anybody know who that belongs to, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to give them credit because I don't know. Like I said, I never thought I needed to save things to share. I just thought it was all going to be my personal stuff. So then this is something from TaylorMade Journals, and this is one of the postage stamps. I just backed them on um, black cardstock, and then I glued them on, you know, wonky to make a pocket out of it. And then this is another ATC card. I took the glossy accents and just went around the, the bleeding heart and then put some um, glitter, black glitter dots. Oh, but on here I also took my gold um, gel pen and kind of went around all the little chain just so it kind of stands out. So that goes there. And then this is our uh, the other one that we made that goes in there. And that goes in that, and that's in that pocket. Then this is my little signed little thing. Um, oh man, I didn't put shimmer on him. I mean, I shimmered all over the place. I thought I shimmered everything, but no, did not. I need to shimmer my my moon on that one too. And anyway, this is the back. <laughs> um, this is another one of the postage stamps. This is um. Mm, Shoot, either Taylor Made Journals or the Slightly Impaired. I'm not. I can't remember. Um, and then I just put some of the silver spider web. You know, put some more black lace behind it. And then this is from um, one of the J. Lee Lou things. <laughs> it's just skeleton praying. I have another one. There's a skeleton in there, like dancing. But he's praying to the bats not to poop on them. And then I just put. I went with my little black gel pen and, and did little like little sew marks on the side and then put some dots around the bats but he's asking them please please stop pooping on me and then this um it's supposed to be a whole page but i printed them um four by sixes i believe let's see what this measures oh i'm bad well i don't know i think i did them five by sevens and fit the size and this is what i came out with so i just folded it and i printed it on the um the gothic papers for the background and um, just made a little note card out of that and then 
these bats I believe are um, from tailor-made journals I just put some of the little black and white washi tape down the side I see an air bubble in there and um, just backed it on some of the stripe paper and so that goes in there Ouch. and then this is just some um, other stripe paper and I put one of the stamps from the that postage stamp kit and um, I just thought you know it went just right so that's that's that journal we hadn't made anything so let me see how far along we are since oh gosh it's in the middle again 40 okay so let me let me stop this for a minute and set my timer so I know where I'm at okay so I got my timer set hopefully I can add no promises no guarantees on that one so I hope that I'm not going over so now I want we're gonna make this little thing for a our journal tuck that's in the signature and this is just a piece of um, of my coffee dyed four by six index card that's got um, coffee and some orange food color that I made this is one of the little postage stamps this is um, one of the freebies from J. Lee Lou's Facebook or thank you for you know buying it comes with your order and then this is um, another ATC card printed I don't know because I, I didn't write anything down for that I, I'm sorry y'all I'm bad hopefully the, the, the whatever police doesn't come get me all right so we're just going to ink around here it's gonna be quick and easy. This is, you know, we're we're making a, a label, a tuck pocket. I mean, a pocket out of a label. You know how I like using big labels and and making pockets out of them. So, and then it's gonna be a journal card to go inside our signature. This I should have backed. I thought it was printed on 110, but no, it's just 32 pound. So I'm gonna to have to back it so I would feel better on some book page so let me back it on some book page real quick um, and then let me fussy cut around it and then I will come back and we will put them together so hold on I will be right back okay guys I'm back I've got it on some book page and I re-inked around there so now we're coming back to our our initial project so let's ink around the um journal card, index card, I mean, well, it's going to be a journal card, but right now it's an index card. And then we'll hit the back, too. Okay. And let me see. I think I want some of the orange up top. Alright, so that's going to go in there, so I need to, where do I need to be? Okay, so we're just going to go from this corner and around. And I need to make sure that I have room for my kitty. So I'm going to put it about right there. So I'm putting him down there. Okay. Well, it's too late because it's it's on there. Let me just make sure I don't have any glue. I see a little shiny right there. Alright. Let me squish the back. Whew. Now I think I want to put a black line down there because I not liking it without it. So I know normally I would freehand this, but I got a, a fat marker. He's a little thicker than usual, so okay. And see that just kind of finishes it up. Let me just wipe the side of my ruler in case I have any ink on there which I did. Alright, so now 
this little journal card is going to go in the top. And then we're going to put our little cat down there. And then that's just a, a quick and easy, simple journal card. Taking a big label and just, you know, a little stamp, index card, and turning it into something a little different than usual. And then we'll put him or her. It looks like a him. We'll put him down there. And now I got that little song in my head. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. I asked for a 13 and they drew a 31. So anyway. <laughs> Pretty fly for a white guy. <laughs> a white ghoul. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. You know, I get carried away in my little musics. <laughs> Alright, so, let's bring our little... Okay, I can't call her little. Let's bring our big old journal back. Find the middle, our signature here. And I did, um, I had put the fingernail polish on here and let it dry. So that goes in there now. And yes, we still have to do that little project. But this one, this little journal card. I'm going to put her back in there is going on that side so there we go we let me see which one do I want it we'll leave this one open for my little my final picture okay guys so I hope it wasn't too awful spooky um, we will um, call this one well I got 15 minutes shoot I don't think I could do okay we can do that other one in 15 minutes I know you know I can't do nothing in 15 minutes but we're gonna okay well, I'm gonna try my hardest what all this is, is a little envelope. Oh, see, now finding the stuff is going to be the, the hard. I put it so I wouldn't lose it. Okay. This is this, Park Lane, which is Joann's. They're um, 12 envelopes and note cards. They were $2.50. And I'm using it for a, a flip-out tuck pocket. So this is the little envelope. And I just um, took a piece of scrap that I had, and it just happened to have, this was exactly what was left over from when I was doing it. And I, I said, I have to use that. So I punched it, you know, glued it on like a regular envelope so we would have the inside stuff. This is the note card that, you know, came with it. I rounded these edges because I want, it was easier to slide it in that way. Then, wait, which way am I going? Okay, that way. <laughs> here I am singing that little song I asked for a 13 they gave me a 31 I was about to make it a backwards 13 okay and then this is one of the postage stamps that's on there and I backed it on some black cardstock and I'm thinking about putting washi tape on here but what I'm doing with this is I'm taking well taken and getting out of control. I'm taking this and because normally it would fold this way but I'm going to fold it backwards and so since this has got let me see I might I don't know I don't want any gummy on there hold on let me see if I can ungummy it a little bit yep I'm using nature spit because it's definitely going to... Alright, there we go. We're, it's gone. Okay. Alright. So I didn't want it to stick to my card in there because we're going to be gluing it backwards. We're going to glue it like that so it flips out. You can journal on here. And we're going to tuck this in here so you can pull that out and journal on this also. So, y'all with me? Am I in frame? Yes, I am, but I need to move up. So, my thing is, is, well, I guess, kind of, I might just put it in the middle. Yep. Let me just make sure. Wet it one more time. <laughs> okay. I know. I'm sorry. All right, and then make sure we're going the right way. Let me take this out before 
Oh my gosh, I glue that in in <sighs> Yeah. Y'all really hear some bad words. Alright, so let's just glue. Let me make sure I'm in frame. Alright, and we're gonna glue this in here. So I wanna hold it so I know where I'm gonna go before I glue it and then don't glue it exactly to the edge because you need to have a little room for you know flipping so just a, a sixteenth of an inch maybe and then let me squish it down a little bit oh well I lost that jeez oh there it is let me put my smushing board back there just so I can get a good seal all right and then if you want to um you know if you have other scrap paper and you want to put like some other paper on here then feel free go for it all right and then this is what's going to go back in here i rounded the edges so it goes in the hole better and then i'm going to take my washi tape let me see what what goes best with my woman I mean, I've got pumpkins. See, I don't think I... This is going to be too much orange on orange, I think. So we're not going to use that. Polka dot. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to stick with the black roses. Okay. So let's find our end. And... I do need to cut the edge because it's ragged from the last thing I did with it. All right, now I'm just going to go ahead and glue, put some glue on here. For my washi. I gotta clean my scissors. It's got stuff on there. Right now, I know. Oh, well, I think it's stuck to the washi. <laughs> All right, let's smoosh that down, and then we're gonna come back. Yep, there it is. We're gonna come back, and it's on me now. Um, we're gonna come back and put some glue down on the bottom. A washi down there. Snip that off. All right, let's put that back. Smoosh it back down. And then we're going to ink around the edges. Oops. Oh my gosh. I'm going to get ink on everything. Oh. You know, if you're like, well, why didn't you round those edges? Well, you can if you want, but I was trying to stick with the square, the rectangle, because the postage stamp is rectangle, so that's the only reason why. But let me just go ahead and ink in here so it'll... But this is some thick, um, like, I call it thin chipboard type card. I mean, it's it's definitely a hunt. Feels thicker than a 110 pound card stock, but yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna just glue her on here. And I mean, that's a cute little quick thing. And I'm wondering, okay, let me, I can put this back in here now, it's safe. Oops, maybe not. I didn't ink around here before I glued it on. Doggone it. Got to ink around my card. And the back, too. So ink before you attach it. It's much easier. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Let me get in here. All right, now. I feel much better. <laughs> no, thank God, huh? All right, and then let's... Oops. Make sure you're going the right way. Let me just stick this bad boy in here. 
before I glue it the wrong direction. And then we're going to glue our little ephemera piece on here. I know, probably way too much glue, but well, it won't be going nowhere. And then we're just going to put it on here so we have a little bit of brown there, a little bit of brown there. And I mean, is that not just cute? So if you have any of those little bitty um, envelopes, or if you make the little bitty envelopes with your little envelope maker thing, don't, you know, discard using them as like little bitty flips. And this would be cute if you used two of them and had a double flip, but I was just doing one. Okay, let me smoosh this side down. But there you go. So you have this flips out, the actual envelope flips out. This is the card, the little card that goes in there that we, you know, decorate the front and it goes in here. So you've got journal spot here, journal spot there, journal on the back, journal back there, here journal, there journal, everywhere journal, journal, quack, quack here. I know. Got my little McDonald's going on again. So that's that. And then this one goes in there. So I guess we'll just, we'll leave these out. So that way we can take a little picture of it. All right. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. So, I just, like I said, I think there's five more things left in there to do. This is my little cheat sheet of, of things. So, I have I can mark another one off of here. And then this is the another big spread that we have to do. And I've got to um, shimmer, shimmer two moons still, exclamation point. Okay, so I got my little list on there. All right. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing some of your time with me. I hope I didn't, you know, like pfft, too much. I do that all the time. So, oh, well, sorry, y'all. It's just me. And um, I hope you enjoy this. And like I said, I hope you find that, you know, you don't have to use Halloween to do these things. Think of some, you know, some of your other autumn labels and the, some of the little things in the all things fall and in all that stuff from um, the junk journal studio and all the other people that you know we have great things from use their labels make a little journal card and then use a little stamp so you can have you know make a larger journal card and then use your little mini envelopes use them for flip outs and stuff and with you know little journal spots okay so that's enough for now <laughs> thanks for all your love support like i said thanks again for watching spending your time with me sharing your time with me lots of kisses lots of love y'all have a great day and a blessed day and i will see y'all later bye guys